Hello and welcome to Berdeen. I'm going to be your guide in helping you automate your recurring workflows and reclaiming your focus with our app. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to pin the extension right there so that you can open it from pretty much any tab in the browser by clicking it just like this. Next thing I want to do is I want to pick a category that I'm interested in. So let's click the meetings category. It's one of our most popular categories. So here we have different playbooks. Playbooks are automations that consist of multiple commands. More about that in a second. So we can click on a particular automation that we're interested in. In this case, we have subcategories before a meeting, during a meeting, and after a meeting. So what I want to do is I want to find social profiles of current event participants. We can go to our calendar and see that I have the current event right here and it's scheduled with Ray Dalio. So what I want to do is I want to click on Berdeen and here I can type find social profiles of current event participants. So what this automation is going to do is going to pull up the current event participants that I have and it's going to find the links. So I can click on Twitter and there we have Ray's Twitter profile. So this is the automation is going to get pinned right here once it gets executed. The next thing I want to introduce you to is the concept of triggering automations without your involvement. So we can create trigger events so that things run automatically. So in my Google Calendar, I see event number two next. What I can do is I can join that meeting from any page. Let's join it from this page. I'm going to click on option B and I'm going to say join next meeting. I can run this playbook and Zoom or any other meeting platform is going to launch automatically. But in this case, what if I want to join a meeting without clicking any buttons? What I'm going to do is I'm going to, in this lesson, I'm going to run an automation with the when command. I'm going to navigate to the automations tab. I'm going to write when next meeting is in, say, one minute. Then, and then we can schedule that playbook. You have a trigger event, and then you have a playbook or a command that you want to run right after. We're going to click on run this and there we have the automation. You'll see all invocations of that playbook or of that trigger over here in the bottom. So the next thing I want to introduce you to is the concept of Bourdain commands. So anything that you can do in a particular app, you can do with Bourdain using commands. So we have the do command that can take an action. For example, it can send an email, it can create an event. We have the get command that can, for example, get our next event. And then here we have our next event. If you want to explore different commands for a particular app, you can click on settings over there and navigate to commands. And here you can filter for the app that you're interested in. So we can go to Google Mail and then here we have different commands. So let's get last email received. Uh, get last email received from, and I don't have to specify from, I can just get the last email. So here we have the last email that was received. The last thing I want to show you is how to create a custom playbook. What you want to do is you want to write all of the commands in order and you want to save them after here by clicking new playbook. So in this case, what we can do is we can uh, get next event and then we can get email addresses of the participants. So get email addresses from event and then we can reference that event and there we have them. And then we can send an email, a template email to those people. So let's say do send email to participants all participants, subject line, hey, hey, there. Okay, so I'm going to click on execute and the email was sent. You can click on view to see how it appears. And now I want to create a new playbook. So over here, you can specify what you want to be a part of the playbook. You can untick this field to exclude the command. And we want that one. And what I want to do is I want to be able to say what the subject line is going to be every single time I run the command. It's called the parameterize. So you just click here and then you will be able to input this information every time. And that's why Bardeen is really useful because you can input different variables every time and automations do not run the same way like every other app does. So here we have uh, send email to next event participants. That's what our automation does. I want it to be blue. I'm going to click on save playbook. 
and then here we have the playbook so what i can do is i can just click on the playbook and here it's going to ask me for the subject line i'm going to say hey guys so a slightly different playbook and i'm going to execute and boom there we have it the next meeting participants they got this specific email which we can view by clicking the view icon and that's pretty much it if you have any more questions definitely go through our learning center and see what else is possible and i'm going to see you in the next video cheers